Here are five secret things she needs more ray than sex to fall in love with you. The myth of romantic intimacy. Emancipating women from societal pressure. In this world, relationships are often veiled with expectations, particularly for women. A common plight on the road to love is the idea that women who engage in sexual activity early on can entice men to pursue, fall head over heels, and commit to them. But ladies, let me tell you, there are more robust ways to attract the man of your dreams without sacrificing your boundaries. Therefore, I ask you to join me as I unveil the top five non-sexual ways to make him love you fervently. It is heartbreaking and enraging to witness empowered women, resilient, intelligent and thoughtful, being pressured to engage in sexual activity before they are psychologically ready. These women, on account of societal expectations and imposed norms, view sex as a means to garner affection, attention and love. Such a notion is problematic at every level. But let me instill it in you with adamant vigour. You wield the power here. Emerge as the victorious force standing against stigmatised societal practices. Do not give in to societal pressure. Choose to educate yourself and take your rightful control of your happiness. Rest assured, love entails much more than physical intimacy. While sex remains a precious and sacred experience, it should happen at the right time and place, when you and you alone deem it right. Remember, the early stages of a relationship are exploratory, and as such, it is prudent to ensure your criteria include wholesome and empowering non-sexual qualities. The first quality to sieve out is the capacity for delayed gratification. There's a lot at stake here. A man unwilling to defer the desire for immediate pleasure is unlikely to thrive long term. What's more, save, become a great partner, start a business, or be a great parent. The ability to delay gratification, albeit a microcosmic trait, is essential in identifying a lifelong match. Secondly, healthy protection is critical, but do not mistake it for control. It's not about exercising power over you, but rather understanding your vulnerabilities. Sexual exploits come with more risk, and men willing to hit pause to weigh out to this disparity are rare gems. It would be best if you aim to find someone who looks out for you, not only themselves, protecting your interests, safety and needs. Now, here's the kicker. Upon applying the five foolproof non-sexual qualities that will tip the scales in your favour, one of two things will ensue. First, he will become bolder in his pursuit of you, feeling undeniably bound by an unbreakable connection. Suppose he can put his carnal desire in the back burner and waits. In that case, the eventual experience will be magical, transcendent and life-changing. But in the other instance, suppose his desire lacks patience, trumping the elevated risk you bear. In that case, it's essential to realise you're leaving fool's gold on the table, confidently saying no thanks and moving on. It may come as a surprise, but flirtatiousness is the most effective method to make a man fall head over hooves in love with you. I'm aware that this sounds simplistic, but bear with me. During the flirtatious phase, desire dominates, and when desire increases, so does his brain's dopamine level. Moreover, guess what? Dopamine is the molecule of alchemy that regulates motivation, the greater the desire, the greater the dopamine, the greater the motivation, the greater the longing, hope, fantasizing and mystique. It is a potent mixture that infuses his heart with a sense of longing, sexual tension and emotional attachment, causing him to think about you continuously, even as soon as he opens his eyes in the morning. Obviously, flirtatiousness can be intimidating for some women and they may fret that they're not doing it correctly. But here's the secret. Make errors without fear. The more you practice, the better you will become, 
and you will soon feel confident and natural when flirting. Don't be reluctant to make a move, to take a chance, and to experiment with the force of flirtatiousness. The key to being a world-class flirt that nobody seems to talk about is first, presence. The more present you are, truly in the moment, grounded and focused on your breath, the better chance you have of making a deep connection with a man. Trust me, being present is the foundation of being able to flirt effectively. It's like you're plugged into a secret source of power that most people overlook. If you're constantly preoccupied with your thoughts or, even worse, glued to your phone, you're missing out on an exceptional opportunity to connect with men on a level that, that most women can only imagine. Why not utilize this ability to your benefit? Being present is like having a superpower that makes you alluring. Element number two, eye contact. It's simple but effective. Just look him square in the eyes and flash him a warm, friendly smile and boom, you've got his attention. Add in some physical proximity and light, playful banter and you've got a recipe for success. But let me tell you, this takes practice and you need to be willing to make mistakes along the way. Don't be afraid to fail because that's where the real learning happens. Now, on to element number three, emotional validation. This one's crucial because if you want a guy to fall in love with you, he needs to feel like he understands you and your needs just as much as you understand him. You need to invest time and effort into getting to know him on a deeper level, exploring his unique worldview and discovering what makes him tick. It's all about building an emotional connection that's strong enough to keep him from ghosting you or treating you like a disposable sex object. And trust me, when a guy feels that emotional connection with you, he'll be itching to spend more time with you, to spoil you and to make you feel special. So don't sell yourself short, people. By mastering the art of presence, eye contact and emotional validation, you'll have the power to create a magnetic attraction that draws men like moths to a flame. Element number three, radical confidence. This is the secret sauce that's going to make him weak in the knees and begging for more. Why? Because confidence is like a superpower that radiates from within and makes everyone around you feel like a million bucks. When you have radical confidence, you're sending a signal that says, hey, I'm a badass and I know it. And trust me, men pick up on that energy like a pack of wolves on a fresh kill. Body confidence is a huge part of this. You need to embrace your curves or your slimness and only an ache like a boss. Stop fixating on all the things you wish were different and start embracing the beauty and power that you already possess. When you move through the world like you own it, you're sending a message to every guy that crosses your path that says, I'm a force to be reckoned with and you'll be lucky to be a part of my life. So listen up, ladies. If you want to be a true flirting powerhouse, you need to prioritize emotional connection over physical connection, cultivate radical confidence, and strut your stuff like you own the damn world. Trust me, the fellas won't know what hit him. Element number four, connection to your worth. This is all about understanding that you have inherent value and expecting others to treat you with respect. Setting boundaries and demanding the respect you deserve sends the message. I'm a force to be reckoned with, and you better treat me right if you want to be a part of my life. And believe me when I say that males can detect that energy as a shark can detect blood in the ocean. But first, let's examine the main issue at hand before moving on. You could even wonder why you're still alone and hunting for love. I have a questionnaire that will help you locate the secret blind spots that are preventing you from getting the love you deserve. So don't be afraid, my friends. Simply follow the instructions on the video description's link, respond to a few short questions, and presto. You'll get your answer and a personalized report with helpful advice for luring the guy of your dreams. All right, 
Back to element number five, uniqueness. This one's all about expressing the true, authentic you, flaws and all. You may access an energy that is more potent than sex when you can accept your passions, eccentricities and pet peeves and offer others permission to do the same. It all comes down to accepting life's ugliness and letting others see the true you. So everyone, feel free to raise the freak flag. You never know who could end up loving you for who you really are. Now, I know what you're thinking. Vulnerability is like the kryptonite of dating, right? Wrong. Hear me out. If you can show a guy that you need him in your life, not in a clingy, desperate way, but in a way that says, you bring value, light, and emotional support into my world, you're unlocking a new level of attraction that's stronger than sex. But here's the thing. Vulnerability is scary as hell. It involves recognizing your shortcomings, the fact that you occasionally require assistance, and the fact that you cannot do everything on your own. That would be the equivalent of admitting defeat for some of us. But in truth, although being fiercely independent is wonderful, it does not equal being really alive. Interdependence is where true alchemy takes place. It's about striking a balance between independence and connection, where you can rely on a man when necessary and he can lean on you. This is the optimal point. You must be willing to lower your guard and present the unadulterated, unfiltered you if you want a man to fall head over heels in love with you. That entails allowing him in on your vulnerabilities, your needs, your wants, your aspirations, and your dreams, and most importantly, letting him enhance your life. Imagine it as the cherry on top. You might possess all the other traits, such as sexual tension, confidence, and amazing dancing routines. But if a man doesn't feel like he has a genuine influence on your life, he will leave you before you can say, Netflix and chill. Finding the ideal balance between independence and connection is crucial in this situation. You don't want to come off as needy or clingy, but you also don't want to project the frightening, I don't need no man feeling. It all comes down to being your authentic, open self and allowing him into that. However terrifying it may seem, believe me when I say that here is where the actual magic occurs. Please support me by clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel if you found this information to be valuable. In addition, you may check out some of my other videos to release even more dating power. Have a nice day.